Hey, what's up, dear viewers and friends? Uh, we're still playing Prey. My name is TrophyNut, the babbling Belgian, and we're still playing Prey. Prey, this this really cool game that I somehow missed out on when it originally came out. But I'm a bit nervous for today's episode because today I would like, after our fiasco falling through the glass floor over there, I would really like to clear out the lobby. The problem is that there's both a weaver, a telepath, that thing over there, and I'm pretty sure there's still supposed to be a nightmare somewhere in that thing. Oh god, he's seeing me. How the hell do you see me? I should start shooting at that thing, probably. I'm gonna start shooting at it. Here we go, here we go. Starting with a stupid plan already. Just gonna start shooting at the telepath. Oh god. I don't know. Ooh. It, it hit something. Oh, that's not doing much, is it? Wow. Oh, God. It's definitely trying to shoot me with something. Oh, God. Hey, come back. So I think like this, I should be fine. The problem is, I'm probably gonna run out of ammo before I can do anything. That's half his health, though. Okay, that's a, another few blasts. I'm fine, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine as long as I'm doing it like this. And there we go. I'm gonna have to duck for yeah, those blasts. I think that's everything. Okay, his corpse is on that thing over there, however, so. But that's good. It took me about 60 bullets, but there we go. He's dead. Okay, the bullet problem isn't really a problem per se, because I still have um, interference from my cat, apparently. But I still have a fabricator here, so I can make more bullets if I want to. But let's quick save. So I could technically make more bullets. How am I doing... Ammo wise, so also have the shotgun 42 bullets. That's enough, I feel like. And then we have the 277 on the stun gun and 371 on the Q beam. So that seems to be fine. So I think I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna do with the pistol after this. So let's see. So we still have the Weaver, and I don't know where the Nightmare is. The only problem is, is that I don't know how resilient the Weaver is compared to the Telepath we just killed with about 60 bullets. Just gonna go into here for now. Because we need to check out the black box lab on the other side as well. We still have the escape pod key and multiple objectives in the other area. But I think if I'm going through here, I end up back at the bridge. Which is where I kind of want to be. Yeah, so now we're on the bridge again. And there's the weaver. What else do we have here? So the weaver... I fell through that. that. Wait. Why is that fixed again? There's some consistency errors there. So there's definitely... Cystoid nests. And I think I can take those... Out... If I shoot, there they go, and there, so those are going off, I think those are free to just wander around, I don't really care about all of that, but where's the big guy? I'm gonna check the map, because I need to go to the crew quarters, and I'm not exactly sure where those are. So according to the map, the only thing I didn't really check out just yet is the human resources. And that actually leads to the Neuromod Division. Um, which is something I could technically go and check out. Which is on the lower floor. Basically on the other side of me. So if I cross over, should be fine. But again, last time we tried this, I fell through. Which is definitely not good. I don't know why I actually fell through. I'm not falling through now. Which is good. 
Ooh, I'm just hugging the sides, hugging the sides. Quickly checking out the psychoscope. Nothing there. I think I'm fine. Okay. I don't know why the glass broke last time. Maybe I got shot somehow, but there's not a cystoid nest over there. Um, so might as well trigger those as well. Can I? Yeah, so that happens. That happens. Now I can take that out as well. There we go. Just one tap. Just one tap. And now, if I go in here. So this is where I previously freaked out. Clearly. With all the... All the glue all around. But I need to drop one level down. Will I be able to do that from here? I'm wondering. Just gonna whack a few things while I'm going through here. Because I'm a bit tense because of all the... I still don't know where the big guy is. Uh, so this is a staircase. So I think this is where I want to be, right? So now I can go one level down. And that should get me right next to human resources on the right. So human resources is over here. I couldn't access that before because I don't have leverage enough. And I still don't have leverage enough. Hmm. Is that the only way to access that area? I feel like there might be another way around that. Oh, there's actually a corpse here in the bar that I never checked out. So let's take her stuff, Octavia Figs, and listen to this transcribe. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Okay, I'm sending you the code. That's that, I suppose, but otherwise, this seems to be pretty empty. So, uh, continuing my search around here. Aha! Uh -huh. There's even stuff in here. And a neuromod, a chipset and a neuromod. So let's check out the chipset. Increases your movement speed while sneaking. Definitely equip that. There we go. Okay, that's in the security office. So I missed a few things, obviously. Okay, but human resources still seems to be off limits. And I don't think I have enough neuromods. I have four. Where's heavy lifting again? So I need six for leverage three. So that should allow us, but I do have enough to get the first point in the lab tag. Oh, that's decisions, decisions. I want to get in there, but hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. So the hardware labs are over there. There's multiple objectives over there and multiple objectives down there. So I could kill the weaver. As I promised I would. I'm going to do that. I want to just see how resilient this thing is. So let's go for it. So it's right above me there. Oh wow. It's freaking me out apparently. That's causing fear. Interesting. So that means I need to booze up. So green beetle gin. Sounds good. Let's booze up. Uh, I think I can just fire at it. Because it felt like it was pretty... Oh, I'm not actually boozed up. There we go. So I'm fear, feared up. But if I drink... Bourbon, that fixes that. Oh, God. So he fires off those things, though. Where is he? He's still down there. So that means I can probably shoot at him from over here. Oh god, they're coming, they're coming. And I'm gonna run out of bullets rather quickly. So where is he now? So the cystoids are coming. Are they coming up the stairs? Can they, can they do stairs? Don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh god, I think they exploded. Yeah, I think they're exploding. So Weaver is still over there. Why the hell did I decide to come in here now? Oh god. Yeah, okay, so I'm I'm dropping down. Dropping down. So if they're on the other side of this door. Okay, they're not. 
So Weaver kind of moved back again. So I think I'm going to cross to the other floor again and try from over there because I weakened him a bit. So there he is. Uh, looks like I got about a third of his health down. And he starts freaking out immediately. Holy sh... I think the same stealth tactics are going to work here. So he's moving. Oh, wow. He's moving away. So I think he's pretty scared of me. It doesn't seem like I'm that I'm actually the one in control here. Because he, he seems really, really scared of me. I barely do any damage from this distance, so... So he's screaming and running around, but that doesn't really seem to do much. And I don't think Sistoids can actually fly. There we go. All, he's almost down, but I'm out of bullets. Um, so I think... I think... What can I do to kill him? Shotgun, can a shotgun work from this distance? I did something, but not much. So it's clearly not working from this distance. So, Q-beam. Oh god, I'm hitting the, the railing. Okay, maybe like this. There he goes. And there goes the weaver. And that's that. So I only have a few cystoids left. Should be able to get rid of those rather easily, even using the glue gun, I think. And there's the last one. There we go. I think that means I cleared out the lower levels. I'm not gonna just... I don't... You know what? Why not? Let's just jump down. Here we go. So, that means there's a lot of loot for us here. Typhon Plasma, that sounds rather nice. There we go. Cleared out the entire lobby, all bar lonesome. The only place, the only thing I don't know where he is just yet, is that big thing. The, I think it was called the Nightmare. Ah, he was just killing the cystoid. That's fine, that's fine, let's just quick save. Okay, okay, there we go. Killed both the uh, telepath and the... what's this? Nope. Stay away. Stay away. The telepath and the weaver. Which is a good start, I feel like. A good start of an episode. Let's see what else we have here. So, this goes back to the Psychotronics division. Did I ever open up this? No, it's hacking too. So, can't do that either. Can't do that either. So, through the door. Now, what is here? What is left in here? As we've been through here, of course, but uh, I'm just going to dump my stuff again. So that's 3.6 exotic material for killing those two big boys. The telepath and the weaver. Uh, but otherwise, the path to psychotronics seems clear enough. But at that point, I'm focusing on side quests, which is fine for me for now. Because I just want to check that out. Let's go check over there. Because if I recall correctly, I think I left a lot of items in this area alive. Available. And I think... Oh god. That's a lot of cystoid nests. Oh god, there's both a mimic and a thermal phantom. That's... That's not a good start, is it? That's... That's not a good start. Oh, and he's flanked by two Mimics. That's great. And there's multiple cystoid nests on the... The things here, this is a problem. Because I'm out of pistol ammo. I think I should cut my losses for now. Because both of Mimics have transformed. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere else first. Because <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Moving back. So I'm gonna do what we should have done in the first place. I'm gonna just go to the crew quarters because we know there's a lot of items over there that's gonna help us stock up against the other enemies, which should be all dead right now in here. So that's fine, the elevator is fixed. So now we can go... Uh, 
down here. We can take the elevator. There we go. It's holy crap, that's quickly. So let's enter. And then I'm not entirely sure. So we are at the lobby. That's life support. I'm supposing the crew quarters are close to the arboretum. That would make sense because life support, we've almost completely cleared that area. So arboretum back there. We fixed the elevator. We're happy. Uh, I'm going to take the shotgun just in case there's not a phantom on the elevator. Although it doesn't let me actually equip weapons at this point. So... Don't care. My board them it is. Oh. This is actually Hendrik de Vries's corpse, which is interesting. Because that's the guy we've uh, been to his office a while back. But, there we go. Back in the arboretum. So, just to reiterate. We wanna... Our first objective of the day was to clear the lobby. We did just that. And now we're back... Because we want to go to the crew quarters, which are apparently over there. The greenhouse, the bridge. The bridge also sounds cool, but I'm assuming... Okay, that was a weird noise that that turret made. Almost seemed animalistic, but... Oh yeah, right, I can't open the door, can I? We're in a bit of a pickle here. Do I have access? No, to this thing. It's hackable, but it's level 2 hackable, so I can't do that just yet. Is there a way of getting in? Oh, wait, there is a roof. There is a roof. Can I get on inside of it through the roof somehow? No. Doesn't seem like it. God damn it. The storage room is also locked. It doesn't seem like I have the correct key card for that. Nope, still not. I have the other storage room key, but not this one. And I'm pretty sure that when we went down here the last time, which is where the game is pointing me towards, that is locked off. Yeah, because these are the crew quarters, but... Oh. I can unlock them. Okay, 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 here we go. Oh, wait, mind controlled. Oh, gold. So, so let's start with... See you. Dad. Another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. What's going on? What's going on? So these guys are mind controlled. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. Okay, the cook's request. <sighs> Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. Can't get me. Can you? Okay. So there is a telepath around here, but we don't know where he is. And those mind-controlled humans are probably going to attack me on sight if I let them. So I'm just going to have to use the psychoscope to scan them if they come around. And this turns into a bit of a stealth section then, I suppose. Keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the pu- You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. Okay, he's a bit crazy. I think the cook is also not fine. But let's check that out first then, the cafeteria. Okay, never mind. Recreation center. Just gonna use the psychoscope again because I don't want to. I don't want to be surprised. Because we need to find the telepod. Jesus. That guy. Bruce Cobb. Let's take his food. And there's a uh, Global Unity Games. I really care about that all that much. And then we have David Branch. A mind-controlled Homo sapiens. As in human. Scan complete. More specimens required. Okay. So I feel like I can't really start exploring this area too much. You think you can kill me with them? Because the mind-controlled humans are in the way. So I need to find a telepath that's actually mind-controlling them. And that's not going to be easy, is it? 
So that's Danielle's cabin. The cafeteria is over there, and I think I saw at least one guy running around here. Just quickly gonna check that. The stun gun is probably an indication that we can use that to stun Patricia Wang, so the the, the mind-controlled human. So I think for now, I don't want to kill anyone. That the stun gun is my best option. I sell two of the same item. I want to avoid getting spooked by a mimic now, because of course, mimics would mean the end of my stealthy approach. He lost his head. He lost his head. That's not good. So I'm not sure. So there's another mind-controlled human in the back. Ah, oh, and there's a telepath. There's a telepath. I don't have any pistol you What's this reservation scanner? Oh, what the hell can I carry that? That's a telepath. That's all mind-controlling everyone. So we need to somehow get it over here. There we go. We scanned it completely and we get Mindjack 3 available. Is there a mimic jumping around? Because I feel like the targeting is all over the place. So I'm pretty free to start firing at it from here. Because it's, for some reason, in the wall. Hmm, I have three more bullets. Oh god. Might as well use those. Damn it. It's moved out of frame. So there he goes. I don't think that triggered ev anybody else. Just gonna move back a bit. So there that goes. If he comes closer, I can actually use the center area to my advantage here. That's only eight damage, that's not a lot. And the humans are starting. I think it's firing at the humans as well. I'm gonna have to distract it a bit. I think it's coming around. Oh, it's running away. I'm gonna have to be careful because I think a few of the humans are getting uh, my attention. Yeah, they're running. They're running around. Please don't kill the humans. Um, they're clearly coming in this way, but. Can I stun these guys with a single charge? Oh yeah, they're definitely here. Hi. Um. Okay, I kind of got hit there. Rather big there. So I'm going to have to heal up with a few... Apples and lemons, stuff like that. As if I get hit by something like that again. So these guys are now unconscious. Can I finish it off with the Q-beam? I think there's something incoming. There was Cyblast. Can I wake them up now? Oh, I can actually get the inventory now. That's fine. So... Whoever you are, run! There is no more fool here except you! If you are still a hold of your brain, good! Others here? Are not! Well... Shoot first before they get close! They're puppets! Bombs! Their master is close! Kill beast Or puppets, or both! But do it before they kill you! When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Well, can we talk now? Because I, ki I killed I killed them. I killed it. Uh, so let's gather all that. So everybody's unconscious now, so I can just grab their inventory. Which is great. There we go. Suit repair kits. Everybody who needs to repair his suit is going to not be able to, but at least I can do that. There we go. Thank you for all of that. And that gives us a bit more metal as well. Oh, there's another one here. Baseball glove and baseball glove. Right 
Huh? Your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Huh. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. But we're already talking, Will. Okay, so that's our first... Well, not our first, but one of our first humans that we can actually have a conversation with. Although he immediately puts us on a quest. That's great. So now we need to go to his room. Um, the cook's room. There we go. On the other side of this area, probably. So this room is, is where you normally enter the cook's room. But I'm just going to check if there's anything over here that I can pick up. Apparently not. There's actually very little loot around here. There's also a lot of corpses here, so I feel like they might have actually fought one another. There's one inside of the table for some reason. Um, and he lost his head, so yeah, definitely inside of the table. Um, the other thing, so there was a corpse over there inside of the glue. Let's grab all that, more organic material. Yeah, here, inside of the glue there's one. So if I smack... How is my Q-beam? Ooh, my Q-beam has dropped by a hundred there. Let's grab the the wrench, yep. Yeah. So don't you need to drop? There you go. An EMP charge. That's always nice. Um and I think I grabbed those guys' inventory. So those are still those are still mind controlled. Yeah. Um so she's still mind controlled, but she's literally in my way. There we go. Can I scan it while she's unconscious? No. There we go. So, But that takes them out permanently, I think. Well, not permanently, but until they wake up. And I can take out the telepod after that. There you go. There you go. Let's just take out every human we come across with the stun gun. Because we are nice people. And nice people don't kill other people, even though they're mind controlled by some horrible monster. So that's another security station, which is nice. I'm just going to check the emails. You never know. So, please help me. There's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry. Basement in space. Seriously, my quarters have no view of space. No windows at all. What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino Pedro. And not sparkling? I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talus, but I assure you the flat piss your concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible, better yet would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well, the others are broken. Okay, and then a the new gym code. FYI, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people had given out the code to employees that didn't have the service docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 9079. In case anyone who's paid for it forgets it. Okay, and that's probably over there in the recreation center. But, okay, this... Wait, this is closed off. And this requires a code as well, into the mail room. Okay, okay. Things are opening up. But we need to get to the cook's room, and I feel like... Yeah, okay, crew cabins. That's good. That's good, that's... Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. I will, will. So that's the fitness center. I have the code for that, but there's people inside. Maybe the telepath is there as well? I don't know. But, oh, wait, this... I can actually move this with Leverage 3 again. Leverage 3 is becoming more and more important. Um, no matching key cards, no matching key cards. Just gonna heal up. There we go. Hans Kelstrup's cabin. Oh god! That's not a full take. That's not good, I'm in water. 
I'm in water. Um, but we have a way of dealing with those. So we go with the EMP charge. I'm saving. So I think they saw me through the door, probably. So it's a voltaic one. Oh god. There we go. And that allows us to shoot him in the face a few times. And if I aim for headshots, that should be fine. Okay, there we go. Down. Down and out. Got us a few more bullets as well. Uh, so we had access to Calstrops. So we had that for a while now. Access to his room. I'm going to check that now that we're here anyway. So there are a few nice items here, which is cool. It's very cool. So a Typhon Lure, some kind of organs. The Psy... Hypo fabrication plan. I think I already had that one. But there's a petri dish sample on his bed for some reason. Multiple ones. And then these hearts. It's a bit weird. A veggie blend. And that's basically it. But there is a terminal here. So I'm guessing the terminal is the biggest uh, reward for being able to enter his room. Because otherwise I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um... Because I don't see any other way out of this room. So, emails. Can't pierce. Pears. Greetings, Dr. Kalstrup. Unfortunately, we won't see another case of can't pierce until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. Thank you for your patience. And ARNs? Deja Vu has sat in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. Seems that Mueller's staff was not properly recording data, so all the progress they made since the last apartment-wide removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year, Hans Kalstrup. So that kind of sounds station-wide... Station-wide memory wipes. So if they could do that, then they could do get them scheduled. Ooh. It's getting juicy around here story-wise, so that's probably a reward. Just knowing more about what Alex was talking about. And then we have... Who's this? Dajo Igwe. Dajo Igwe. Okay. He seems like a man with good tastes. Vodka. Vodka. Orchestrated objective reduction? Reclusion? Consciousness originates from processes inside neurons. Consciousness is based on non-compatible quantum process. That does not make any sense to me. Because I'm just a, a dumb... Or, oh, but that I like. And then the far scan. It's probably another chipset for our yeah, psychoscope. Far scan increases the range at which Typhon can be scanned. This is not something I need. We can't log into his terminal because it's airing out. But otherwise, there's nothing on his bed, is there? The moon rock statue. Why can't I move that? There we goes. Okay, that doesn't that didn't make any sense, but okay, aside from the neuromult, the neuromult was nice. Let's move one room further. And then we have the cook's room, so that's good. I can probably open that up then. No, no. Oh, no matching key card. Wait, but I did get... Because this is Will Mitchell's room, and he said... Wait a second. Wasn't his name Will Mitchell then? That's weird, because the game... Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Just was, uh... Was thinking, why were there two... Trash cans, that didn't make any sense. So, Mimic Bathroom. Mimic Bathroom, that's fine. Oh, the poltergeist. There's a poltergeist in here. He's... Ah, I killed him, I think. I, th I killed him before I could scan him. There we go. All the guys, that was cool. That was a bit of a jump scare. Okay. So the door started freaking out and the polder guys was just here. I am losing ammo quickly though. That's gonna be a problem, but 
In the toilet, in this lovely, lovely toilet with a lot of marble and everything. Marble on the space station, that's new. I'm gonna take a little break. So, uh, thank you guys. And obviously for watching, when we get back, we're gonna go into the cook's, the cook's room. See what he's all about, because apparently his name is not Will Mitchell. I have been lied to. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.